Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Rachel from Align Movement Studios in Courtney. And I'm here again with Shane Corpin from Courtney as well in her studio and Shannon Green in her studio at Pilates on the Lake. And we've got another workout for you today. Shane's gonna introduce the chair as well as her tower on her V2 Max. Um, so I'm set up with my reformer. My foot bar is down one level and my box is rested diagonally on the carriage and up towards the foot bar. And I've got uh, one and a half springs. You could try two, but we're gonna transition to some single legs. So I've started with one and a half to see how it goes. Shane, how are you set up? Hi, okay, so I'm gonna do um, a couple exercises on the chair. We're gonna do some footwork. So with the footwork, I've got the pedal split and I've got one heavy low, one light top. Um, and then I'm going to probably adjust the spring tension a little bit there and put my pedals back together. I will cue you for that. We're gonna do some standing arm work on the Cadillac. Um, so I've got my arm springs here, which is uh, it's about a half a spring uh, for both some arm work and some footwork later on. And Shannon's going to tell you about her mat band setup. All right. So if you're on the mat and you don't have any equipment, um, so you'll need, I call them sliders. They're, they're basically plastic on one side and kind of felt on the other. And they're really slippery on uh, hardwood floors. If you're on carpet, the plastic part works really good to slide over carpet. You'll also need two pretty um, strong flex bands or therabands. Again, anchored to something very sturdy that's not going to you're not going to pull away. And you'll have to tie just a little loop at the end of them for your, our feet later on and our hands. And then I also just have a chair just to use the back of it just with our standing warm up. And that's how we're gonna to start today. So if you have all your stuff, let's get ready to go. Okay, so just standing in front of your chair or whatever you have, you're just gonna very gentle, just place your fingertips on the back of your chair. We're just gonna start with a few breaths. So let's take a breath in. And as you breathe in, just feel the expansion of your ribcage and that little bit of elevation and lift you get with your upper body. And exhale. Inhale, very just gentle pressure into the chair, feeling the lift. And exhale. Yeah, let's go a couple more times. Thinking about expanding your ribs 360 degrees, so all the way from the side and the back. And exhale. On this next inhale, we're just gonna add a little float up onto our toes. So we're gonna take your breath in, float up onto your toes, and then exhale down. And as you float up onto your toes, try not to dive yourself forward. Think that you have a little string on the top of your head pulling you straight up to the ceiling and lower down. Rolling up through all the toes so you're not rolling out to the outside or the inside. Inhale as you float up. Exhale down. One more time and then we're going to add a little knee bend to that. So this next one, we're going to just do a soft knee bend. We're not hinging, we're just doing a little plie. And then again, we're gonna exhale, press up, and then onto those toes. Inhale, soften the knees, and then lift. And bend, and press up, and press up, and bend. We'll go one more time, and then we'll add a little rotation to that. So we're gonna bend our knees as we come up. We're not gonna go up onto our toes. We're gonna to bring our arms, sweep it up towards the ceiling and follow your fingers with your eyes. And then you're gonna bend as you come back towards the chair, straighten those knees, sweep the arm, and then come back. So just a nice little soft knee, just wakening up our joints. Exhale as you turn. Let's go one more time each side. Perfect. We're just going to step back a tiny. 
tiny little bit. And we're just going to just, um, warm up our spine with a little cat and cow. So we're again, we're going to take a breath. We're going to exhale. We're going to start with our tail. We're just going to do that nice little pelvic curl. Start rounding your spine, rounding forward, just keeping that nice spinal articulation. Then you're going to send your tail out into extension. Let that chest drop to the floor and look up towards the ceiling. And curl. We'll take our inhale to prepare. Exhale, start to curl that tail, rounding that spine, looking towards your thighs. Hold, take an inhale, and then exhale. Lead with the tail, one vertebrae at a time. Chest comes up, head comes up. Let's go one more time from the tail. Hold for the inhale, and exhale, extend. Nice, and then just come back to center. And then just roll yourself up. Okay, so we're gonna start with some footwork with the sliders um, for myself, and Rachel will be on the recorder, and Shane will be on her chair. So, I'm gonna start sitting right up onto my sit bones. Also, um, with using the sliders on the floor, it really is helpful if you don't have socks. So, Sitting up nice and tall, my hands are just resting on the outside of my thigh. Where I'm going to take a breath, I'm going to flex my ankles, and I'm going to exhale and press those legs up straight, and then pull them back in. And again. And pull. So again, you're really feeling the back of your thighs press yourself up, and then really press down your heels into the floor to pull the spiders back in. Staying nice and tall the whole time, so that you're not rolling back off of your sit bones as your legs extend. Keep your chest lifting and that energy coming out of the top of your head. Good. And let's go one more time. And then we can come back in. Now we're going to go heels together, toes apart. So slight external rotation. So obviously I can't keep my heels completely together because of the discs. And then from here again, I'm going to press out, keeping those heels flexed, and pull in. Again, you have to keep pressing down onto the floor, down onto those sliders, find those inner thighs, pull those inner thighs together as you go. And pull, and press. Okay, we'll go one more time. Nice. Okay, so just give yourself a little wiggle and a little moment. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it with a little bit of a half roll back. And then we'll add some arms. So from here again, we're going to sit up nice and tall. My feet are on the sliders, pressing down through my heels. I'm going to take a breath. I'm going to exhale to roll off of my sit bones to a little bit of a roll back. I'm going to hold that roll back, still thinking of the energy through my upper body. Press those legs up, pull them in, and press, and pull. Your arms can just be hovering off of the floor, and press, and pull, and press. It will go one more time. Pull your heels in and roll yourself back up. Okay, so now we're going to add our opening of our arms as we roll, as we move our legs. So again, we're going to roll into that half roll back. Our arms are going to create that nice circle. We're going to take a breath. As our legs extend, our arms will extend to the side. Pull everything together. So you're going to inhale, come together. Exhale out. And pull. And press. Keep those heels pressing down. Some more times here. One and two. And then roll yourself back up. Thanks, guys. Okay, so we're going to do one more variation. And that's going to be a walking kind of running. So we're going to move our opposite arm to our opposite leg. So single leg and alternating arms and alternating legs. So extend your left leg, right arm, 
your left arm is behind you, and then you'll switch. Little coordination here, and back. Keep nice and tall, both directions, have control of the arms, they're not just flailing, we're going forward and back. And then come back in. Good, okay. guys. Okay, so now we're going to transition to do to doing our swan. So we're going to end up being a bunch of our tummies. I'm putting my straps off my shoulder rest and beside me on my floor, and I'm also changing my springs just down to a half a spring or a blue spring here. I'm just putting my pedal together to do this one. Same spring tension. I've got two heavy low for this one. Okay, so from here, your legs are gonna be open a little bit wider than um, your hips, your shoulder distance apart, and an external rotation. So toes pointing out. Okay, I have my hands on top of my slider. Okay. I'm just going to start with a little hover of my chest. With the hover of my chest, I'm then going to just move my arms in and out. And then we'll add the extension to that. Okay, so from here, find a little bit of imprint. Feel like you can support your lower back with your abdominals so you're not just staying into that. Okay, you're going to hover that chest up, up off of the floor. The energy is coming from the top of the head. Take a breath on your exhale. You're going to press those arms out and pull them back. So nothing is moving with your upper body. And press. That work is happening in the middle of your back in between your shoulder blades. I have light, light hands. Okay, let's go one more time here. And then come back in. So then the next one we'll add is to the spine. So we'll go up into full extension. So again, <clears throat> find a little bit of imprint of your abdominals, lengthen your lower back, a little bit of length in the back of your legs, lift your chest slightly off the floor, take a breath, you're going to inhale as the arms come forward, exhale, I'm going to circle my arms around to come up into my squat. And then lower back down as your arms extend forward. Inhale, exhale, lift, really reach. Feel like that chest is reaching forward as much as you can. I'm not pressing so hard with my hand that I'm pushing, I am obviously pushing with my arm, but I'm lifting my chest. Nice, and let's go one more time. Okay, so now I'm going to pass you guys off to Shane. Okay. I'm going to keep the same spring tension. Um, so I've got two heavy lows. So those are my two red springs. And I'm going to do some side bends here. Uh, side bends to be set. So uh, my first one, I'm going to be sitting actually to the to the front of the chair, because when I get up into my V-sit, I need some room towards the back to roll back, okay? So my starting position for this one, I'm laying on my side, so I've got my pelvis stacked, inner thighs are connected, glutes are firing, abductors are working to keep my legs long, I've got my shoulder over top of my wrist, and I'm lifting up on both sides, okay? So I'm starting just hovering off the, the ground, a little bit of resistance into my chair. Okay, I'm gonna take an inhale to prepare, and on the exhale, using my obliques to laterally flex up, pedal is coming up, and then press the pedal back down, okay? So keeping those legs long, do it again. Inhale, prepare, exhale, flexing, coming up, and return back down. Nice. So just being conscious of not rotating. I'm coming straight up. 
Both sides are working. Laterally flexing using the obliques on the left side. You can just reach your arms down the side of your leg. We've got two more here. And last one. Good. I'm just going to put a little bit of weight down and just describe how I'm going to transition into my V sit now. Okay. So, again, same starting position. I'm going to hover off. <clears throat> this time, I'm going to take an inhale to prepare. On the exhale, I'm flexing up. My weight is coming back of my sit bones. At the top, I'm lifting my chest into a bit of extension, reaching my hands towards my legs. Then roll back onto my side, press the pedal down. Okay, let's do that again. Inhale, I'm going to flex at the hip, come back to the skid bones, reach up, lift my chest, and return down. We've got one more on this side. Inhale, prepare, exhale, flexing at the hip, reach those legs, hand reach up, lift the chest, extend, and return. Good. Okay, let's try that on the other side. So starting with the side bends. So again, forward to the chair. Hand reaches down. Pelvis is stacked. Inner thighs are connected. Find your balance point to begin with. And take an inhale to prepare. Exhale. Laterally flexing up. Good. Squeezing those glute muscles, inner thighs, keeping those legs long. The work is coming up on the side, the right side as you flex. Okay, we've got two more side bends. Right, last one. Nice. Transitioning to add the V sit. Okay, so inhale, prepare. Exhale, flex at the hip, come to the back of the sit bones, reach the legs, reach the hand, lift the chest, extend the back, and return back down to the side. Do it again. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, flex at the hip, lift the legs, lift the chest, reach, and back. Got one more. Inhale. Exhale, flex at the hip, lift the legs, lift the chest, back of the sit bones, <laughs> and return. Woo. Okay, take a break. A little shaky on that one, my goodness. Okay. Just gonna move the chair out of the way. We're gonna move on to, for me, I've got standing work on the Cadillac. We're gonna be doing some using the arm springs. Just gonna put a different grip on here. And I'm gonna change to uh, three quarters of springs and some of you might even want just a half a spring. So somewhere between a half and three quarters here for me. And I'm just putting my hands in my loops of my flex bands with hair bands and kneeling away from wherever they're attached. So good point there. You make your adjustments. You've got the spring tension coming from behind. So we're going to be working on our, our core strength to stabilize, but if you need to adjust forward or back, depending on how much tension you have, you go ahead. Okay? <clears throat> so my, for myself, I've got to lean forward, so I've got a little bit of flex, dorsiflexion in the ankle, okay? Quads are lift, lifted up, pelvis is stacked on femurs, abdominals are engaged, rib cage is connected, and my arms are just starting back of the body, okay? I'm going to take an inhale to prepare, and on the exhale, I've got straight arms coming forward as an offering, coming wide, circle around down by your sides. Do it again. Inhale. Straight arms come forward, out to the sides, circle around. Okay, so scalps are stabilized, nice and strong. Good. 
We've got two more going this direction. Nice, and then switch directions. Inhale, arms come nice and wide, back together. Straight arms come down by your sides. Exhale, arms circle around to the front. Nice. And two more. Last one. Good. And then just release your springs. Take a break. Okay. Next one again. I'm standing feet are hip distance apart. I'm bringing my arms out to the sides. This is called hug a tree. Okay. So this is a nice big Vancouver Island cedar big tree here. Lots of work in the shoulders, stabilizing. Again, glutes, hamstrings are firing, and core. The goal of this one is to laterally flex, okay? So I'm bringing left rib to left hip, back through center, right rib to right hip, okay? Now I've got my spring tension from the back and it's wanting my body to rotate. So I'm being conscious that I'm just laterally flexing, keeping my shoulders straight and not rotating. Good, lots of work in the arms. Check in with the body, make sure you're not gripping at the toes. One more on each side. And last one. Good, give those arms a break. I know. Okay, next one we've got salute. So <clears throat> you're gonna bring your springs around the size up towards your forehead. So you've got a diamond, diamond start position here. Hands are right at the forehead. Again, I'm in my lean position and then I'm extending from the elbow. Okay. On the exhale, extending the arms into the corner of the room and return. That's it. Shoulders are stabilized. Obliques are working. Nice. Last three. And two. And one. Back to the forehead. Careful uh, as you let the tension come down and you can drop those hand springs. How are you guys doing? Good. I actually did drop down to just a half a spring there when you're in your highly kneeling on the reformer. It's a bit heavy to have three quarter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of arm work. Good. Make the adjustments that you need for your body, of course. Okay. Next one, we're going to do some standing arm work with leg work. Um, I've got the spring in my left hand. Okay. I'm going to start standing in second position. I'm in a second position plie, and we're gonna do a spine twist. So you're gonna start rotated towards your springs, okay? You're in your half circle here with your arms. Take an inhale to prepare, and on the exhale, you're rotating away from the springs, and return. Okay, so you're staying in that plie position, second position, legs are nice and wide. Chest is lifted. Being conscious of keeping those hands positioned right in the middle of the chest. And your torso is rotating. You're not pulling with the arms. Using the obliques to make the, do the work. And two more on this side. Exhale to rotate, inhale to return. And back, okay? Let's do that whole thing on the other side. Okay, so setting yourself up with enough spring tension. You're in second plie position, rotated towards the springs to begin. Inhale, prepare, exhale, rotate away, and back.
Even though you're in a plie, you're still lifting up out of the top of the head as you rotate. Each side, trying to rotate a little bit further for the last two. Last one and return. Good. Okay. Come back around. Again, we're going to have the spring uh, in your left hand. Okay. So this time you're going to do a punch across the body. Okay. I'm going to go into a lunge position. So I'm I'm in a lean, I'm lunging towards my right leg, my elbow is high, chest tight, and I'm just extending across the body, so I'm rotating as I punch and return. So being conscious of the eccentric return, controlling the return so the spring's not pulling you back. Nice. That's it. So we've got last three and two and one. Return. Okay, let's do that on the other side. Same thing. Now holding the spring in your right hand, lunging towards the left, extending the right leg long. <clears throat> Start with a slight rotation towards the springs on your inhale. On exhale, you're punching it. Cross the body, looking towards where you're punching. Okay, shoulders are rotating. The whole torso is going around. Keeping that elbow, shoulder height. Nice, last three and two. And one, control the return. Okay, coming back onto the starting side. Side hands holding the spring in your left hand. Or, sorry, right hand. You're now you're gonna pull across the body and lead with the elbow. This one you're gonna transfer your weight. Okay, so you're gonna start again. I'm turned out in second position. I'm rotated towards the spring, and then I lunge, and I leap with that elbow, drive me into the corner, and shift my way back on the return. Good. Looks good. So watch your alignment on your lunge. Your knee is tracking over your second and third toe. Keeping that elbow, shoulder height, rotating the rib cage for last three and two and one. Controlling the return. Okay, last one on the other side. So again, you're holding the spring with your left hand. Second position, starting your plie, rotated towards the springs on the inhale, exhale, you pull across the body, shift your weight to return. Last three. And two, last one, and return. Good. You can drop that spring. Okay. I'm going to pass it on to Rachel to go from here. Okay. So we're going to go into some planking. So my setup is going to be foot bar to the bottom. Okay. I'm going to add, so I'm going to need one full spring here. And I'm going to add my platform extender on. Shannon's going to grab her sliders again, and she's going to have them under her feet. And Shane's going to be doing planking uh, like she's just on the mat. Okay? Coming here, we're going to work our 
way up to a full plank and then work our way up to a dynamic plank. So hands are going to come onto the platform extender. Comfortable position for your wrist. Toes are tucked under and feet are up against the shoulder rest. You really want to find that neutral spine. So you want to watch that the back doesn't arch nor does it round. So you think about sliding the shoulder blades wide on the back of your ribcage, wide through the collarbones. You have length through the arms and length through the spine. We're going to take a nice big breath in here. Now, without moving anything, on your exhale, we're just going to press through our hands and feet. Feel the core sort of start to react or respond. And then inhale to release again. Exhale, once you feel the pressure through your toes and your hands, find the response to the abdominals without changing the shape. Inhale to bring it back. Now add to that a little hover of the knees. And your exhale, press through the hands and feet, hover the knees, keep the carriage still if you're on a reformer, and then let those knees float down with control. Take a breath in, we'll do a couple more. Exhale, hover the knees, find a response, call the floor and abdominals, keeping the spine long, and then lower it back down. Last two here, exhale, hover, hold, lower it back down, and one more, exhale, hover, hold, and then lower it back down. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add the extension. So if you're on the mat, I would walk your knees back a little bit and be ready just to press out to your full plank. Shannon's gonna use your sliders, I'm gonna push the carriage away. So taking a breath in, on your exhale, feel the response to your core, hover your knees off, take a breath into the prayer, and press the carriage away for five. Out and in. Four and in. Three, legs are swinging in the hip socket. Two and one more. One, bring it in and lower those knees down. Do one more step like that, take a breath in. Exhale, fire up through those abdominals, hover the knees, take a breath in and hold, press it away. Drive through the heels, find activation through the back line of the hips, the legs. And three, and four, one more, press, bring it in, and lower it down. Take a second, just come off your wrist for a second, give them a little roll. So we're gonna get dynamic, we're gonna do some like mountain climate climber variations. So Shannon's sliders are gonna slide one in, one out, okay? Shane is going to do mountain climbers where she's marching one leg in, hovering it off the floor, and then marching it back out to her plank. I'm gonna be holding my carriage away and drawing my knees in just like Shane. Okay, so let's set up. Top of the neck and shoulders, drive the neck to bottom, find that length through your spine, take a breath in here, exhale, hover, hold, big breath in, Exhale, send the legs away and hold it here. Now let's really fire up through those glutes. Keep the carriage away and march your right leg in. Inhale to send it back up. Exhale, pull. Inhale, send it back up. And exhale. So one more time, right? One more time, left. Hold in that wrong plank. Bring the carriage in. Let the knees come down. Oh, that's a hard one to talk through. <laughs> Okay, good job. Give those um, wrists a little bit of a roll again. Let them relax. So I'm going to go now back up to my one and a half springs, and I'm going to get ready to go into feet and straps. So we're all going to get ready to go into that. And then put her elastics back. Jane got her springs back. We're all going to lie ourselves down. <laughs> Let's place our feet in the straps. And then just take a moment to breathe. Okay. Legs go long. Just take that second after that planking. Just let your breath settle. Full nice big breath in through your nose. Full nice big breath out through your mouth. Will your pelvis soften into that neutral position? Finding that gentle hover in the low back. Equality from right to left in the pelvis, equality from right to left in the shoulders, and length through the spine. Now let's just ease into some leg circles here. So we're going to inhale to bring the legs up, exhale to roll them out, down and around. Feel each movement. Your pelvis is staying quiet here. We're finding the deep fold in the hip joint, and then that nice smooth glide around in a circle.
<clears throat> now from here, we're going to let the pelvis get into it a little bit. So we're going to use those abdominals. Let's take your hands onto the shoulder rests or whatever is just above your head there. We're going to inhale to let the knees, or sorry, the feet come up. Let them keep going past the hips. Roll your tail off. Start to split them, circle them. Roll your spine down and then zip them together in the bottom neutral spine. Inhale to come up, exhale, imprint, scoop and roll, circle, roll that spine down, reset. Two more. Inhale to come up, exhale, scoop, roll, circle, and around. Last one. Inhale, lift, exhale, scoop, roll, circle. When you get to the bottom, pause there. So stay there. We're in our neutral pelvis again. We're just going to reverse just the leg circle. So inhale, they open. Pelvis stays quiet in this one. Just isolating leg bones and hip sockets. Inhale, open. Exhale, zip them together. Use the back of the legs to pull them down. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go one more time like this. Then we're going to add the roll walk through the pelvis. When you get to the bottom, if they're not, hands on the shoulder rest of the space above your head. We're going to inhale to open. Exhale, roll the pelvis up. Roll the pelvis down, rest through the legs. Inhale, exhale, scoop, and roll it back down. So nice long breaths here. Just being gentle with your spine. Use those abdominals to curl the pelvis up. Exhale, scoop through the imprint, roll yourself down. One last time. Inhale, and exhale. Now send those legs long, find your neutral pelvis again. We're going to go heels together, toes apart. So in our little V, we're going to go into stay. Really want you to set that pelvis. Feel the width between the backside of your pelvis. We're going to inhale, start to expand your sit bones, bend your left leg and send your right leg to the side. Now exhale, narrow the sit bones, zip those legs back together in the center. Inhale, expand your sit bones. Feel both sides of your pelvis anchored onto the reformer. Exhale, narrow as you go back out. Inhale, you can put your hands on your pelvis to feel what's happening there. Sit, fall over to your straight leg. Exhale to press up. Inhale, expand the sit bones. Draw the right heel to the sit bone. Exhale to press away. One more time each side. Left leg bends. Exhale to press. And then right leg bends. And exhale to press. Okay, so if you're on the floor, you want to make sure you have enough space between your shoulders and your shoulder rest to curl up. I want everybody to place their hands just below their bum cheeks, and I want you to press the legs down into that space. So as you press the legs down, you're really activating that posterior chain, your back and the hip and leg here. So the more you press into that, the more you're going to be able to curl up, because we're going to do our 100 here. Inhale, nod the chin. Exhale, curl your head and shoulders off, and just notice, did you lose that connection? Repress into the back of the hip, press a little bit more, press a little bit more, reach the fingertips away, and let's pause. In, two, three, four, five, breathe out. Ten, in, curl those shoulder blades up and up. And twenty, in, two, three, four, five, reach into the back of the hips for thirty. In, two, three, four, five, up and over with that rib cage for forty. In, two, three, four, five, connect upper body to lower body. Fifty, in, two, three, four, five, breathe out. Sixty, see if you can catapult yourself up and up. 70, in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, 80, almost there, three, four, five, press into those hips, 90, in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, and turn. Now stay up with your upper body, slowly bring your legs in, then roll your upper body down, and let's get our feet out of the straps. Okay, so from there, we're just going to bring our feet. Let's just stay laying flat for a second. We're going to do our frog steps and strap, or frog stretch and strap. So let's just do it here. So bring the feet together. And let's hold on to those ankles. Drawing the feet towards you. Let your knees go out to the side. And just give yourself a little walk from side to side. Let's re-center into our breath. Allowing the hips to soften. Allowing the pelvis to melt into the reformer. Nice big breath in, nice big breath out. Now draw your legs together and place your hands on the knees. And let's stir those legs. So do a little stir through those knees. Use your hands and just roll those leg bones in the hip socket and then reverse them. 
letting the back just sort of melt. And one more time here, hug the knees in, take a second, and then we'll roll ourselves off to seated. Okay, so let's finish seated. If you're sitting um, upright on the surface, you can put your feet on the floor. Um, Shannon, you can sit in your chair or you can sit on the floor, it's up to you, whatever makes sense. Okay, so if you're sitting cross-legged, I want you to find your sit bones underneath you. If you're sitting on a surface, really feel like you're nice and upright and tall for, from pel pelvis to the top of your head. Let's inhale, shrug those shoulders up, and exhale, let's let them go. And again, inhale, really shrug them up around your ears, and then thoughtfully just let them go. Last time, inhale, and exhale. Let's take our right arm up towards the ceiling. We're gonna turn towards the right and reach and hold the floor or the reformer or the chair behind you. Left hand comes onto the knee and let's look over our right shoulder just where it feels comfortable. Take a couple nice big breaths in here. And out. And in. And out. Let's swim that arm back up. We'll go to the other side. Left arm sweeps up. Just like the beginning, we're gonna reach the back. We're gonna hold it for a stretch here though. Lifting through the chest, softening the gaze over that left shoulder. Taking that nice big breath in. And out. One more time. And out, and then let's swim it back. Let's cross our arms. So you're thinking one arm wraps over top, one arm wraps over the bottom. Okay, it's like making a little sandwich with those elbows. Now we're gonna draw the shoulder blades apart slightly. As you draw them apart with your fingers, just feel your rib cage just back between the shoulder blades as you let your head relax down. Take a breath in. And out. Then you're gonna do just a gentle little rock from side to side. Allowing that rib cage to just gently mobilize through the space between your fingers. One more right, one more left. Roll it up center. Now let's interlace our fingers and just place them behind the base of our skull. And I want you to shine your left armpit up towards the ceiling and look up to the left. Really open that junction between shoulder and arm. And then come back to center. Shine your right elbow up towards the ceiling. Armpit opens and we look up to that side. And then roll back to center. Try your left armpit again. Look up to the left. Then we're going to sweep it down through the center. So round your back forward, let your head and shoulders roll. And then unwind to the sweep on the other side. Armpit, right armpit to the ceiling. And look up to the right. Let's do that again. Roll down and forward. Over to the right. Left shoulder armpit shines to the ceiling. We look up. And then we roll it forward and through, over to the left, up to the right, taking a nice big breath in. And then let's roll back just to center, let the arms go, roll yourself all the way up. Take your hands, place them behind with your thumbs facing outward. Shine your chest towards the ceiling, take a big breath in here. And out, take your right ear to your right shoulder. And your left ear to your left shoulder. Come back through center. Give those shoulders a little roll. Let's stand up tall. Okay, so let's finish with a little bit of hip flexor stretch. So you're going to take your left foot forward, your right foot back. Your right foot's on the ball of the foot. Your left foot's standing in a little lunge. Let's take our right arm, tap your right leg. So we're going to lunge forward into that front leg, get a little squeeze through the right hip. Reach around and circle it back to the star. And press forward into that hip. Look up towards the ceiling. Follow the arm around. So we're just lunging into the front leg, encouraging a little opening through the back leg. We'll do one more time here. Up and around. And let's switch it up. So we're going to take our right foot forward, left foot back. Right hand just comes onto your hips. Let's send that left arm forward, pressing through the hips, pressing that front leg and circle it around. And again, press a little light through that left glute, just to find a little bit more opening through that left hip. We'll reach and circle, and around. Let's go two more, reach, and around. One more, reach, and around, and bring it back to center. All right, high five everybody. Nicely done. Oh, thank you. Good job.